Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bharat and uh, we're looking at this uh, nice and toasty graphics card. It's the AMD 6800 Radeon graphics card. It's toasty because we just got done testing it in our test bench and we've got some exciting results uh, to show you guys. But more importantly, we want to talk about how it stacks up against the competition, which in our case, we considered the 3070 as the competition because it's more or less in the same price bracket. Now, India prices are not yet available at the time of us recording this video, but if they do become available by the time we make this video live later in the day, we will put them in the description below. And if we do find links to buying these cards, we'll put those in the description below as well. So let's quickly talk about the graphics card and what it's capable of. And the 6800, even though it falls below the 6800 XT, is quite a capable card, but the design and the build quality is not like their entry level card. It is really well made and all metal design. And in fact, the red Radeon logo that you see on the front of the card is actually backlit. So there is an LED behind it and it does glow red. So like I said, if you don't have a red themed open glass build. This will not fit in there well because you will see that Radeon logo in red and we didn't really find a way to turn off uh, the LEDs in there as well. So if you do get this Founders Edition card, you will have that red light in there. But more importantly, the fans on this are super quiet and in some of the testing that we did, even though the card got extremely hot and like it's still toasty, but the cooling performance was great and it managed to keep the GPU levels uh, of temperature really low. And more importantly, we couldn't hear the fans even with an open chassis. So the fans are super quiet and noise levels have been maintained really well on this graphics card. Now, we did need a test driver or a beta driver to test out the graphics card. So that is something that you need to be careful of when you look at the results that we're gonna show you, as they may not be the final results that somebody may get. They may be higher, they may be lower in the final result. But what we got is based on the beta drivers, which are supposedly publication or release ready, uh, but they're still tweaking out a few things. So this is, based on those drivers. So let's look at some of the benchmarks comparing the 3070 and the 6800. So you saw in those uh, benchmarks, it is uh, fighting very well with the 3070, in certain cases almost matching, but in certain cases even defeating the 3080. But again, for what it's worth and for what AMD was placed at in the last generation of graphics card, if their entry level card is being pit up against the 3070, and we still have a 3060 coming out later from Nvidia, supposedly. So if, this matches that level of performance and even beats it in certain areas, what you're looking at is an impressive result from AMD's lineup. Of course, I'm gonna be checking out the 6800 XT and the 6900 XT in a later video as well. But because we are looking at the entry-level graphics card, this is uh, turning out to be some impressive performance. Also, our review for the 3070 did go live today as well. So just click on the bug on the top right of the video to go check that out. Again, we'll also leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested. Before we continue with this video, we've just noticed that around 60% of you guys watching our videos are not subscribed. And a lot of you guys who are subscribed don't have your notifications turned on all the way. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and if you are subscribed make sure to hit that bell notification icon with all notifications so that you get all our videos in your inbox and make sure your smartphone notifications for YouTube are turned on so that you get notified every time IGAN uploads a video. Take a second to do that, it helps us out a lot. Thank you, let's move on. So the 6800 is also more designed for gaming and video performances, and we saw that a little bit with uh, some of the benchmarks that we ran. But more importantly for gaming, we found that this card really does perform well. And in certain cases, while playing Tomb Raider, uh, it did defeat the 3070 as far as ray tracing capability is concerned. So with 1080p ray tracing turned on, the 6800 does outshine the 3070. And that is something that 
I was not expecting this card to be able to do. This is the first time ray tracing or direct X ray tracing has been enabled on AMD cards. And now that the fact that AMD is capable of uh, sort of overthrowing in certain aspects, the Nvidia card is uh, pretty interesting to me, but we are only on the bottom level right now. So we're only looking at the entry level cards. We want to see how it performs in uh, the higher end cards, but the 6800 does look out to be a good performer. So we did try gaming in 4K and we got a good impressive results uh, where frame rates stayed well above the 60 FPS bracket for 4K gaming on all games, including some of the games that are brand new, like Dirt 5 and Godfall. In Godfall, we did see the AMD CAS, which is their contrast adaptive sharpening. Uh, which does make the graphics look that much nicer and cleaner on the edges. There's also variable shading in Dirt 5 and some of the lighting detail that you get on this game is pretty impressive. Again, Dirt 5 is not available with ray tracing. Uh, what we were checking out was a beta version of Dirt 5, which does have ray tracing enabled with the AMD graphics cards. And that looks absolutely phenomenal. And you're probably seeing it on the screen right now. And it looks absolutely amazing. And it's super responsive and very smooth to play with all our graphics put into the maximum settings. So things are getting really heated up, at least in the GPU space. So the problem is graphics cards are not available in India. And that's a big deal because AMD and NVIDIA still don't have any proper availability details. It's becoming an issue for enthusiasts and gamers alike. This card, the 6800, is also capable of uh, doing video related work. So if you're doing rendering for video or images, the 16 gigabyte of RAM will definitely help with that. And you could be working in the day with the card and gaming at night with the card. And this is capable of handling both those tasks without any problem. Now we have to see what the pricing is going to be like for the 6800, the 6800 XT and the 6900. And more importantly, we have to see what availability is going to be like for these cards in India and whether or not you'll be able to buy them, the founders edition or the manufacturer edition cards, if they will be sold in India. So what the AI sees will look like from other manufacturers is something that we have to also see. So stay tuned for some more content related to graphics cards. We really are enjoying some of the graphics cards that we've been testing out. If you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget to smash a like, hit that subscribe button because we have lots more content coming on is in the gaming area. So if you are interested in gaming, we have some builds and we might be secretly doing an impressive giveaway that you guys will be interested in. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications by hitting the bell icon and selecting all notifications so that you get notified when our giveaway goes live and when our next gaming related, graphics card related, PC stuff related videos go live. This has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.